There were three schools in the parish then times, I remember. No, the school at the church was counting the head of all the three. And Clubish, be dad, was a splendid master. Make Jimmy Jim for shortness, but uh, Clubish all the same, aye. James Clubish. And servant for clerk as well as schoolmaster. No, the school at the lane was just for children. Infants in Pericots. Danny Bewilder was the name of the master. That was that was calling the murder of proper name, which was Danny the Spout. At least I think this skillicorn I've had them say the man was born. Now bless my soul. Was it skillicorn or cow? Well, I was going to the school of the land to Danny Bewilder. Poor old Dan. Oh, the lack of a school like that, you never. Poor Danny thought he was taking clover. Not as he'd say, ridiculous. Just clap a testament in the fists and off he goes. Oh, bless your heart, he did soon enough you give them a start. But letters, letters and spells and things like that, heavy see, oh, just the weather and the children. And so we were calling them Danny the weather. Oh, little things them times, but grew. Until at last the battle of Waterloo betwixt me mother and daddy, who took and flied me with the cane one day, he nearly destroyed me. And poor oh, my ran, and mother, mother, dad, of just me. What's this bother, she says, and hits me a clout along the head, and looks me all over, and come, she says, and away with us is there and in on the school. What's this, she says, you dirty fool, you bark. You choucher, you are man, you significant creep, she says to Dan. You and just a disgrace to the place, and the bishop, and the archdeacon. Aye, and she'd be speaking to the peasant too. <laughs> she'd let him know, <laughs> did she would so. And pins him there again the wall, and turns me up and shows him all that she be done. Get out, says Dan. Get out, says he. Is it out, she says, and dropping me, is it out? And grips an inkstand there, and ups, and lets him have a fear betwixt the two eyes. Oh, the ink on the blood, and Danny all smothering where he stood, and puffing and blowing and splattering and spluttering, and all the muck was slapping and got down, down on his breast, and his shirt. <laughs> My Adam never had the leg upon him of the name of the leg. Yeah, out of this school, says Dan, and makes a grab at a stool, and a run and a drive, and she couldn't recover her foot and down, down and Danny over. And there they were, rowling and crash and crash, and the forum scats eyes, and all mixed up in a mash of murder. What stuck to a manful? <laughs> oh, bless you, and handful after handful of Danny's here going flying about. And the children began to shout, the boys to cheer, and the girls to cry. And I slipped behind on the sly, and I gave this Danny a clip on the ear. And we saw our chance and got clear, and up and off with us, all the fact, and left poor Danny on his back. Well, then I was going to the school at the church, to Clukish himself to be using the birch, but very little. Mostly at a strap and begin you a rap on the head with his knuckles and a little. <coughs> <coughs> oh, grand old man with Jimmy Jim. Teaching? What was that he couldn't teach? Menstruation? Trigonomajoc? Navigation? Aye, teach it, teach it like a bird. But of course we couldn't understand a word. And you wouldn't expect a man that way that never would a week at sea. A uh, tailor he was to a trade. And many's the fear of breeches he's made in yonder school. Cut out, you know, on the desk before him. Well, I didn't learn much, but there's plenty that did. There was one little chap with a big round head, all oh, the round you never seen. That chap was learning everything. And the more he learned, the bigger it got, that head, and the rounder. Just lay a pot. Look at that! Boy, old circus, you said, fit enough to make your tear in that head, he'd say, like the bottomless pit. There's nothing that doesn't go into it. And right, no doubt, for it all went in, but it never went out. 
so there couldn't have been much loss at Yonderfla. It's grand to have a head that'll grow and span and never lick a drop. The pride of the mother. But of course, he died. Saturn died, of course. You see the working and the force of all that was in him. Justly a boiler with no safety valve and no grace for the idler and art, you see. Ah, the poor fella died. That's an empty. No, Tommy was as shy as a bird. Yes, I know what funny word you'd get from Tommy. So every monkey thought poor Tommy was a donkey. But <laughs> bless your heart, dear Tommy alone. Oh, Tommy had a son and head of his own, and his copies just like copper clips. And he'd set the work and cover a slate before the rest of us had done his home. But you'd really have thought the fellow was dumb. He was that silent and bashful, you know. Not a fool, not him, but looking so. Ugly he was, most desperate, for all the world they are sucking skit. But the eyes, the eyes, white blow the fly, he could flat them out like a rumbarella. You'd wonder where on earth he got them. Great dubs of blue light, with the black at the bottom. Basins of light. But it wasn't often you'd see them that way, for he'd always keep his head down on the book or whatever he had, as if he was a shame, poor lad. But really, they were a most awful size. And so we were calling him Tommy Big Eyes. The way that chap was knocked about was just a scandal. You hit him a clout whenever you met saw him. That was the side. Hit him once and you'd get him to smile. Hit him twice and he'd drop the head. Hammer away till you'd think he was dead and he'd stand like a drum. As if his skin were a sheep and made for hammering. Then his hair was so thick and so nice to grab it and pull it back like skin the rabbit, and he'd have to look up, as you may suppose, and then we could welt him under the nose. I do believe the cruelest fiends in the world is a parcel of boys in their teens, one of them stirring up the other. But still, for all, the devil's mother should have looked a bit more to the way the chap was rigged. For it isn't right that there's a boy that's going to school as if he was born to be a fool. Fancy, a frill around his neck. What in the world could the woman expect on his trousers buttoned outside of his jacket? Like these flashes that ride at the races. Surely it might occur. Well, she'd a deal to answer for. That's a lot. What air is left to us of ancient heritage, of manners, speech, of humours, Quality, the limited horizon of our stage, of love, hope, fear. All this I fain would fix upon the page, that in the coming age, lost in the empire's mass, yet happily longing for their fathers, here may see it in a glass what they held there, may say, was thus and thus they lived, and as the time flood onward rolls, Secure and anchor for their separate souls.